Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today I am sharing what I picked up from Azure Standard um, for the month of February and also what I picked up from Walmart on the way home. Guys, this was the first day that we have left the house and the snow is still very much on the ground. However, the main roads in our area are for the most part clear. So we haven't ventured out because we still have very much snow uh, in our yard. Um, there are patches that have completely melted, but there is still a lot of snow left. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys what I did get. I didn't get a whole lot from Azure because as you will see, I did spend a big bulk of it on some cheese. Um, but we did need a few things from the store and I'll show you those as well, uh, what we picked up from Walmart. But let me go ahead and get into this so that the video is not super long. The very first thing that I picked up are two five pound blocks of cheese. This is the Origin Creamery brand. I had not seen this brand before, but I decided to go ahead and pick this up in hopes that this would carry us through this month uh, and the next month to come as far as cheese is concerned. So I did get two five pound blocks and these were on sale. I did get some mozzarella. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is A2 organic 100% grass fed cheese and it has the regenerative um, organic certification. So if you guys are interested in trying this, um, I'll let you guys know what we think about the taste. But also if you guys have tried uh, either of these cheeses or any cheese from this brand, please let me know in the comments. But I did get the mozzarella and then I got the A2 um, raw mild cheddar. All right, I picked up three of these Grazier's butters. Um, these are, I don't think these are organic, but these are 100% uh, grass fed. And so I did pick up three of these because honestly, guys, it is it has been super hard to get the the uh, preferred cheap the preferred butter that I like to buy from Azure. It is hit or miss, guys, and this month it was definitely miss. So I didn't get any of that butter. Um, I did buy some from the grocery store, but I do prefer grass-fed if I can find it. So I did go ahead and get three of these because we've been going through a lot of butter lately, and these are gonna come in handy to kind of rep replenish uh, my freezer a little bit. All right, I picked up a 10 pound bag of these beautiful yellow onions that I usually buy. I got this, um, this wild brine um, organic uh, probiotic sauerkraut. Now I normally buy just the regular green cabbage sauerkraut from Costco and we actually just ran out of that so this is perfect timing. Um, I actually tried that sauerkraut. I hadn't really been a big fan of sauerkraut because of the smell of some of them but the one that we do get from Costco has almost no scent to it at all and it's really, really delicious. So I may actually start to incorporate some of that into my diet to get some good probiotics. So this wild brine sauerkraut is red beet and cabbage. I thought my husband would really um, be interested in trying that. This is just organic red cabbage sauerkraut. So he'll try that and we'll let you guys know what he thinks. But again, if you guys have tried it, let me know what you think. I went ahead and got me some of this Jovial Einkorn all-purpose flour because I do want to try to incorporate this into my baking. Um, I did just get three of the two pound packages because I wasn't quite ready to pull the trigger on a larger quantity just yet. I got some, uh, some organic garlic. This is a staple and I do not ever, ever, ever want to run out of this, especially now during cold and flu season. I got some spices. Um, I did get some rosemary. I do have some rosemary in my pantry, but it is the whole leaf rosemary. And I actually don't have a, um, a spice grinder right now, and I don't wanna use the same grinder that I'm using to grind, to grind coffee. So I decided to go ahead and get this ground rosemary because every time I use the rosemary and little bits of it kind of ends up kind of still intact in soups. Or, uh, you know, if I use it to put on chicken or something like that, um, my family tends to complain about like having the little sprigs being stuck in their teeth. So 
I figured getting the ground rosemary would solve that problem until I can actually grind up what I do have. All right, I picked up some garlic. I got four ounces of the organic garlic powder. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but if you go on uh, Azure's website, the country of origin for their organic garlic has changed. And so I, I'm gonna see if it doesn't say it on here. I don't know if it says it on here or not, guys. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't know if it, I don't know if they say it if it says it on here. But anyway, the country of origin has changed, and so I decided to go ahead and grab some of this organic garlic because it was on sale um, this uh, time around. So I got some of that, and then I got some of this a pound of this organic roasted garlic powder. I really was excited to try this. This was on sale as well, so I did get that. I picked up also some smoked paprika. This was on sale, not a huge discount, but it was still on sale and this is something that I would have bought anyway. All right, I picked up six jars of this, these Jovial crushed tomatoes. This is just to um, re replenish my pantry because we have been using some of those and I do like to have these on hand for um, sauces and soups and all kinds of different dishes. I needed some active dry yeast, so I went ahead and picked up a pound of that. I'll just throw this in my freezer. I got these If You Care coffee filters. You guys have seen me um, have these in my hauls before. We love these. Um, you get 100, not a bad deal. And then the very last thing I picked up um, are these seeds for Jimmy Nardello's sweet peppers. I grew these last year and they were absolutely delicious and they produced a ton of peppers. So I will be growing those again this year. All right, guys, on that note, I picked up some seeds at Walmart because Walmart has a ton of seeds out now and I had to try and control myself because I don't actually need a ton of seeds. I was looking for some specific things. Like for instance, this, um, this burgundy onion, I was looking for that, so I picked that up. I needed some more Texas grano onion seeds so that I can get those going. I wanted some more Space Master uh, cucumber seeds, some more of this gourmet lettuce. I needed some, um, some squash, some summer squash seeds because I don't have any of these. And then I picked up some tomato seeds. These are both container varieties and um this one is the early girl hybrid and this one is the large red cherry so i'm gonna try and grow those this year i haven't ventured out that far yet to grow um anything but my romas and i think one year i did grow the pear the yellow pear tomato which didn't go super well but um cause, but i did grow that in a container so yeah that's why that didn't go well um, but let me go ahead and show you everything else that I got. I did a little bit of couponing at Walmart. A few of these items I'm getting ready to show you actually did get money back through Ibotta for. This Airwick Advanced plug-in warmer. I love this. I'm going to replace all of my other plugins with these because they have like a little light on them. And I love them. So anyway, this was absolutely free. It was three, three, $4 or $3.98 or something like that. And I got $4 back through Ibotta, so that was free. This fabric to go, this Febreze fabric to go was in the travel section. It was $1.97. I did get $2 back through Ibotta for buying it. This all free and clear was not the absolute best deal ever, but I was trying to work on a little bit, I was trying to work on a bonus, a uh, $5 bonus. So we'll see if I get there but I still have about nine offers to go. So anyway, I went ahead and picked up this all uh, laundry detergent. It was $4.97 and I did get $2 back for it. But this one was also a deal through Ibotta, but it was a separate offer. This was the best deal. Um, these all Oxy Fresh and Clean laundry detergents is 36 ounces, but I will say this one is 20 loads, that one is 24 loads. However, after cash back, this one ends up being the better deal. So these were $3.74 each. I did get $2 back for buying each one of these, making them $1.74 each. I thought that was a really good deal to just try and stock up on some laundry detergent um, because we, my little stash has gotten really, really low. All right, I picked up some organic Valley grass milk. 
Um, I would have gotten five of these, but again, I didn't have a whole lot of room in my refrigerator for five of these. So I just got one because we do have one in the refrigerator already and I did get a dollar back for buying this through Ibotta. If that deal reloads, I'll go back and get another one. But also, um, I, I'll get some money back through Maryfield because this is a Maryfield brand. All right, I picked up two boxes of Kashi cereal. I got $3 back for buying two of these through Ibotta. I picked up some of these Simply Ruffles. My daughter wanted some potato chips. The ones I normally buy are at Sprouts, but we are we were nowhere near a Sprouts today. So I just got what was available to me. This was the best option at Walmart. I actually picked up these two spices. I had never noticed these before, but there was an offer um, through Ibotta to get a dollar back on two of these. And these were a dollar each. So after the dollar back, they ended up being 50 cents a piece. And here are the ingredients. I'm not gonna say that this is top of the line um, perfect, but the ingredients are decently clean. There you go. So I'm gonna try that and let you guys know what I think. But again, if you have, let me know in the comments. I picked up some of these Dave's Killer Bread Plain Bagels. Guys, I, had, I was wanting more of these so bad um, while we were at home during the ice storm. And I wish I'd picked up more at Kroger because when I went back right before the storm hit, these were completely wiped off the shelves. They were a little bit cheaper at Kroger, but because they had so many on the shelves today, I went ahead and grabbed two of these and I did get back a dollar for each one of these through Ibotta, but I will also get back uh, 50 points per dollar for buying these through Maryfield. So that'll bring these down to about $4 and some change each, which is not too bad. All right, I picked my husband's uh, favorite salsa up. And this I found out guys is normally just cheaper. The everyday price for these at Walmart is cheaper than Kroger. Now I can't get these cheaper at Kroger whenever I have a coupon and whenever they go on sale, but just buy, just running into the store and buying these regular price, Walmart so far has the lowest. So I did pick up two more of these uh, Herdez Roasted Green Salsas. I got a Muscleman's Apple Butter. We haven't had anything like apple butter or jam in the house in a long time. So I picked up one of those. I picked up two bags of my husband's favorite tortilla chips. No, they are not organic, but he absolutely loves the taste and texture of these. So this is what he asks me for. And then the very last thing, that I picked up are two bunches of bananas. And that is it. That is everything that I picked up on this um, shopping trip and for Azure for the month of February. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put them in the box below and I will talk to you guys in my next video.